has dimension of length L and unit of meter. T has dimension of time and unit of second. And M has dimension of mass and unit of kilograms. Then what is the dimension and unit of U equals D over T? Okay. So the first part here. Um, right, so the dimension of U equals the dimension of T divided by dimension of T, and this is a length, and this is a time, and the unit would be meters per second. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so for B, V... Uh, the dimension of V must be the same as the dimension of U um, or well if you want it must be the same as the dimension of U plus AT um, and these can only be added together if they're the same dimension and these must be the same as this so you could just say it's the same as U which is also um, meters per second so that's okay. Now, the dimension of AT must be the same as the dimension of U. So that means the dimension of A is the same as U divided by the dimension of T, which is um, U, we said, was length per time so length per time yeah length per time and there's another time there so it's length per time squared so that's meters per second squared <coughs> yeah okay next you have dimension of f equals dimension of m multiplied dimension of a which will be mass times length time minus two. So that's um, kilogram meters per second squared. Okay, and lastly, if F, if F equals G M1 M2 over D squared, then that means that G equals F D squared over M1, M2. So then that means um, that the dimension of G is the dimension of F, <coughs> uh, dimension of D squared, over dimension of M1, dimension of M2, uh, which would be, so the F we just had is M L T minus two, and now the D squared, that will be L squared, and then this is an M, and then this is an M. So this will cancel with this. So you're left with length cubed. Well, yeah, okay. Length cubed T minus two M minus one. So that would be meter cubed per second square per kilogram. Something like this. Yeah. Um, how close did you get to getting that now? Not close. Not close. No, that's okay. Um, what was the difficult part? Where'd you get stuck? 
All right, okay. That's all right. Uh, does it make sense to you now? Yeah, yeah. That's good, okay. Next one? Oh, you need a minute? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. There's no rush. Okay, great, great. Right, next one, number two. Um, so this one is an important one as well. Um, converting between different units. So you wanted to change from millimeter squared into meter squared. So that would be six two. Uh, this is a six two three seven zero millimeter squared. Six two three seven zero milli meter squared, which is six two three seven zero zero point zero zero uh, one meter squared. Okie dokie. Now, uh, sorry, and I can, yeah, I have a 0 0.001 squared times meter squared. So let's see what we get. 62370 times 0 0.001 squared. So you get 0 0.06 two, three, seven meter squared. That's okay, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, next now, you want this in centimeter squared. So, uh, the trick here Uh, you want to put centi squared and centi squared here and meter squared because this is just one. You're multiplying this number by one, so it doesn't change. Uh, but what you can do, centi squared, and this is centi squared meter squared, um, you now can get your centimeter squared here. So this would be this number you got before divided by 0 0.01 squared because it's a centi. Oops, oh goodness. Uh, so what did you get? Um, Good. Yeah, 623.7 centimeters. That's okay as well, isn't it? Okay, number three now. Um, the mass of hydrogen is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. Uh, and hydrogen, 
we can consider it as a sphere uh, of radius 5.29 times 10 to the minus 11 meters. Um, what is the density? So density is mass over volume. Uh, and I give you a formula for the volume. It's 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So that would be 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 over 4 over 3 pi 5.29 times 10 to the minus 11 cubed. That's okay so far? Yeah. Uh, let's see what we get. Right, I got 2693.15, I'll just drop that, uh, kilograms per meter cubed. Did you get something similar or not? Okay, what did you get? Do you want to double check your calculation? Do you have your calculator? Okay, so the next part, that was part A. So now part B, um, you want this in grams per centimeter cubed. Uh, so the question then really is, change this from kilograms per meter cubed into then uh, grams per centimeter cubed. So firstly, I'll pull out that kilo, it's a thousand. Yeah, G and meter cubed. So that would be 2693000 grams per meter cubed. And then what I'll do is I'll introduce a um, centi. Well, yeah, I think you know what, actually, to make it a bit clearer, I'll just put the meter cubed underneath the G grams per meter cubed like this and then I'll introduce here a centi cubed centi cubed so this would be two uh, six nine three zero 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 times centi cubed grams per centi cubed meter cubed so that would be two uh, uh, two six nine three zero 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 point zero one cubed grams per centimeter cubed so let's see what we get here um, I get 2.693 grams per centimeter cubed. Um, 
Straight. Here's my thing. One, two. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. 